So here goes this headband, first, okay. first and foremost. Look at my forehead. Not that part. It's a little large. I have a large scar on it. <laughs> right here. No, no. Oh, you do. What was that from? I was uh, the youngest of five kids, and my mother was busy. Say no more. <laughs> Tell me about um, what you've been up to. I actually have had a huge change in my life, and I'll tell you about it. I guess I have been resisting the idea of being a teacher, and my friend Caroline Aaron, great actress, she's like, oh my God, honey, I'm gonna do a play in New York, so uh, will you please take over my class, and you've gotta direct the play. So it was at Columbia College Hollywood. I've never taught anything. I just showed up with my little Stanislavski book and their play, and I was like, we'll do a little Stanislavski, okay. and then we'll go into uh, rehearsals for the play. Sorry, I That's okay. Scratch. Just go ahead and scratch it. Does that feel good? I'm worried about my husband is gonna come and visit. Well, I have two words for you what? that I just want to bring up. Roadhouse. <laughs> And everyone's dying from that cast. I'm like, you're lucky you're getting me now because I might be next up. Oh my God. I mean, we were joking about the 80s, but the 80s were good too. What are some of your yeah. favorite moments? Uh, the 80s were good to me work-wise, yes. but personally, I was a, just a hot mess. Yeah. While I was on this uh, location for this film, I gave a demo tape to this record executive, and then she called me when she got back to Los Angeles. Like, that's how I got my first record deal. That was like, it. Boom. The show business is why it's a snap. It's so easy. What's everyone saying? I was the, the queen bee of my high school drama theater. Of course. And I come down to Los Angeles, three weeks later, I get invited to a party. They say, why don't you read this scene? Well, of course, I, I would love to. I read the scene and then walk out with a, like a major part in a big movie. But I can tell you these stories now because then, slowly as the years wore on, life kicked my <laughs> braggy ass. I just blinded her with a bunch of product and she no, just tried to be a champ. No, it feels fine. Really. <laughs> Makeup Bragging artist, yeah. what's funny is it's all about like influencers now and like who's, you know, who's really cool on Instagram. And I'm just curious how that bodes for for actors. Uh, this girl that was in this movie I just did with Ludacris and uh... So I'm sitting in the makeup trailer Yeah. and she's like, I got famous on Instagram. She goes to nightclubs and stuff. I said, oh, you might know my son, Jimmy Hart. And uh, and I show her a picture of him. She's like, oh, I really know. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God. Well, apparently he's more of a player than you I expected. Sus but maybe I'll want to wear it to the play that not. I'm going to. You will not want to wear this to the play you're going to. Like, I always love that you get cast in the weirdest. Like, if they're looking for someone to play a crack mom that's going to sell their baby, they're like Kathleen Wilhoy. Of course. Hi, Dave. Hi, Dave. Hi, Dave. Hi, Dave. Dave Hart. Hi. That's okay. Everyone worry about it. Uh, That's my fella. I'd love to face that she came over. Stupid enough to I've sold five kids for drugs on different, five different projects. That's not a lie. Have you really? In the 90s, I was yes. Hollywood's go-to gal for uh, child abuse. Tinfoil lashes. Totally. I love it. Best part's coming. So everything is like, I've made all this shit. I mean, this is all, this is absolutely crazy. <laughs> Like, so sure, I right? thought no one better could wear this wig that I of made than course. you. Of Stay right there. I'm just going to paint a couple more things in and we're going to take your final photograph. It's pretty fierce. What do you think? <laughs> we're going to share it with you. Oh my god. That's super cool. You have to let me post some of these on For my sure. Facebook. So anyway, my idea was like it's totally like it. white trash neighbor next door of the future. Of Kathleen Wilhoy, thank you for being thank here. You. Don't hug me too close. <laughs> Hey! There you go. Yes. A true champ. I jibber-jabbered the whole time. 